Okay, folks, welcome to the call. I'm really excited to introduce Lori Ledley. Lori's the CEO and founder of Valley Sleep Centers. She has five locations across the valley and soon to be six. And she's also a longtime respiratory therapist. So Lori, welcome to the call. And for the folks out there that want to ask a question, just hover your mouse over the Q&A icon at the bottom of your screen, type question, and it'll go directly to Lori to answer. So Lori, welcome to the call. Hi, today we're going to talk about obstructive sleep apnea and what it is. It's when the tongue and soft palate relax during sleep and block airflow. Over 20 million Americans have moderate to severe obstructive sleep apnea. So here in the bottom part of your screen, you can see where the tongue and the soft palate relax during sleep and block airflow. Um, over 20 million Americans have moderate to severe obstructive sleep apnea. And you can see this patient right here is stopping breathing for 47 seconds. Imagine holding your breath for 47 seconds. A lot of things happen when, when you do this. And when you're sleeping, it's very interruptive to your cardiovascular system, your brain. And then on the right, we see this patient is stopping breathing for 86 seconds and their oxygen level is severely dropping to 74%. So the consequences of untreated sleep apnea are pretty, pretty severe. Basically, you get fatigue, diminished productivity, your, your bed partner is complaining of your snoring, you're an accident risk to our community and unsafe. So if you're an over-the-road truck driver, a train operator, if you're operating heavy machinery, you're at risk to society. And then above all, your own heart and brain health are severely uh, diminished if you have obstructive sleep apnea. So CPAP is our frontline treatment for obstructive sleep apnea. We get great results when it's used regularly. However, some patients just cannot get acclimated to it. So we do have alternate treatment options. There's oral appliances, which are made um, by a dentist. I recommend going to a, de a dentist that specializes in sleep medicine. Um, this is used to pull the jaw forward uh, while you're sleeping and open up the airway. There's anatomy altering surgeries. Uh, this removes parts of the jaw, tongue, throat to create a larger airway, but are very invasive and very um, difficult to recover from. There's also Inspire. And Inspire is an upper airway stimulator, and this is how it works. It's a safe outpatient procedure. You have a remote that you press a button to go to sleep, and then you press the button to wake up. So here we have a patient wearing Inspire. He's getting ready for bed. He's using his remote. He's activating it by turning it on. And then as he sleeps, it senses his breathing, stimulates the upper, upper airway, opening up, eliminating snoring and apnea, allowing more airflow and less interruptions in your sleep. So Inspire is a safe outpatient surgical procedure. It's inserted through three small incisions. It's a very fast recovery. Typically, you just take over-the-counter meds for post-op pain, sometimes prescriptive anti-inflammatories. You can return to non-strenuous activities within a few days. The battery has an 11-year life, and MRIs can be safely performed on the head, neck, and extremities. So here we show sleep apnea and the airway looking down through a scope without any stimulation. You can see the tongue and soft palate are obstructed the airway on the bottom left-hand side of your screen. And then on the right-hand side of your screen is with mild stimulation. The airway is nice and open, allowing airflow to pass through, eliminating snoring and sleep apnea. And then after your Inspire device is implanted, approximately 30 days, you'll come into the sleep center where we'll activate your device. We'll turn on Inspire for, Inspired for the first time. We'll establish some comfortable initial settings with the programmer. We'll make sure that it's effective for your airway, give you some ranges on your remote, teach you how to use your remote, and send you home to get used to Inspire on your own. 
So Inspire does have indications. You need to have moderate to severe obstructive sleep apnea, unable to get consistent benefit from CPAP, you cannot be significantly overweight. You need to be able to pass an airway anatomy exam. You need to be 18 years or older. And most insurances do cover Inspire therapy. If you haven't had a recent sleep study, within two years, you're going to need a new one. So here we have our patient, Joanne Zioli. So prior to Inspire therapy, Joanne's apnea hypopnea index, the amount of times she stopped breathing per hour, was 21.83. So that's moderate sleep apnea. And then as you can see, once Joanne reached her optimal levels on Inspire, her apnea hypopnea index went down to 1.97. Excellent outcome. So our next patient ambassador is Eileen Ryan. Eileen's pre-inspire REM apnea hypopnea index. So this is the apnea hypopnea index when you're in REM sleep. She's severe at 75. But then after she was implanted, activated, reached her optimal levels, working at home, and then coming back in for her fine-tuning sleep study, her post-inspire REM AHI was down to 15. And then her overall AHI was down to 5 excellent outcome. So she did not have one single REM episode, which is really great. So we have a new ambassador on the block. It's me. Um, I too have recently been uh, Inspire activated and I'm working on my fine tuning. Um, so valleysleepcenter.com, the first uh, thing that pops up is a box that says, ask a sleep coach. I'm your sleep coach. Um, if you have any questions about anything about Valley Sleep Center, about Inspire, please fill out this uh, question. It will come straight to my email. I get back to you usually within the hour unless it's the middle of the night. Um, but I'd be happy to help you um, along your journey of Inspire. So what, what do I do next? So I'm interested in Inspire. How do I schedule? It's so easy. Um, after you close that pop-up box, you're going to have a blue box that says schedule an appointment and you click that and you'll get this page here that says schedule an appointment online on the left or schedule an appointment via email. Um, if you schedule an appointment on the right, that'll just fill out a questionnaire and someone will call you right away. If you fill out, if you click the box on the left, you're going to go to this page and you can actually schedule right online an Inspire telehealth appointment. You can, inspire, you can do an Inspire consult in the centers. We're open. Uh, we are under strict guidelines through the Arizona Health Department. Our infection control uh, is, is off the charts. We will keep you safe. So please feel free to come in and see us. Otherwise, you can do a telehealth visit right here online. And then if you don't want to deal with insurance, we have a great option right now where our premium package for $500 cash, you can get a televisit, a disposable home sleep test mailed to your home, and a virtual follow-up without even leaving your house. You can get diagnosed and treated all from the beauty of our virtual visits. So if you have any more um, questions, we'll be happy to answer them now. Um, just put them in the chat box. Uh, you can message us. Um, just please let me know if you have any questions for me, or if you'd like to speak to Joanne or Eileen, we can put you in contact with them as well. So Lori, as we're waiting on folks to answer questions, and, and guys, feel free to ask. We have a couple um, questions that come up almost every time. One is insurance. Talk about what you accept for the guys out there. So we take most insurances. There is like one banner plan that we don't accept. Um, so all, of, all your insurances can be used at Valley Sleep Center. Uh, Access is not currently providing coverage for Inspire Therapy, so you want to know that. Um, also, I have Blue Cross Blue Shield, and it's really interesting because six months ago, it was kind of difficult to work with Blue Cross Blue Shield and getting coverage. And then I was approved in two hours. So it just depends on your insurance and um, what their recommendations, or excuse me, what their qualifications are for Inspire. Another one, Lori, people always ask is, what was recovery like? And then, and then after your recovery, did it limit, does Inspire limit your physical activities? So my recovery was fairly simple. I, I ate ice chips because my throat was a little sore. I have a, a little tiny scar that you can't even see anymore. It's completely gone. 
Uh, the one in my chest is gone. Um, I was, I do yoga and Pilates. I'm pretty active. And so I waited 14 days. And as soon as that 14 days was up, I was doing side planking, down dog, the whole thing, like no problems at all. So fairly simple. Excellent. So we'll go ahead and wait for you folks to ask more questions and feel free to ask what, whatever you'd like. So I mentioned about um, the, one of the indications is you cannot be significantly overweight. And I just want to encourage you that at Valley Sleep Center, we have a new program, Sleep to Slender. We'll help you get that weight off as we manage your sleep apnea. So don't let that uh, be a deterrent. 